So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up our Dart scoreboard on OBS. So first, um, you're going to add a browser. So this is what it actually looks like at the end. You can see here, this is our scoreboard. And I'm just going to delete that now and start from scratch. So remove. So first you click this plus in the sources panel. You click browser, click OK. Change this to obscoreboard.com slash scoreboard and change this to 800 and click OK. And as you can see, I'm already logged in, so it goes directly into the scoreboard. If you're not already logged in, right click on either there or you can right click on the browser down here or click control if you're on a Mac and click and click interact then you'll see you have the options to change everything on the scoreboard um, if you haven't already logged in you'll have to type in your login details I've already logged in so I won't need to do this so you can change the player names by just typing in here so say John and Jin and then you can add points easily by just either type them in like that and type them in your keyboard and click enter or you can use these predefined ones and click ok you can also undo and you can also change so that you can include sets as well and you can see down here it displays it on the score on the actual um, screen so then you can click option key and drag down to get rid of the controls and to increase the size you just click and drag, drag the corners. Oh yes, on a Windows laptop you click alt and drag down this middle button. So yeah, you can make that as big as you like or as small as you like. And leave it there in the corner. And then if you want to fix it, you can lock it. And then again, you right click and interact. And then you can configure some settings like the competition name. So let's say World Championship. You can change who chose first, which is this little dot. Um, you can choose first to or best of. And you can see that the text will actually change here as well for the sets. So if it's best of seven or first to seven, um, and you can change the text here as well. So I can change this to either five or seven. So let's say I change it to five and close. So it's gonna do best of five. So obviously you can't get a score of 501, but we're just gonna give some examples. So 501, so best of five would be Let's say, yeah, sure, if, if this person wins again, they will be up 1L in set. And it does that automatically. <clears throat> again, you can undo any mistakes you make. And yeah, that is pretty much it. You can also generate a code and you can use a remote control on your phone. So the code here is 503-739. So if you go into Safari here, for example, and Obviously, you just go into this on your mobile phone. We'll hopefully be developing an app for your phone soon enough. So, yeah, you just click scoreboard remote. F03739. And yeah, you can see the score transfers over. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller. So you can see it updating. I can actually get out of this panel. And you can see, you can imagine this being on your mobile phone now. And let's say I type in 180, it'll update on the score in real time, on the scoreboard in real time. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show for the moment. Obviously, you're not allowed to get a score greater than 180, and this will be implemented uh, in future versions. But at the moment, um, yeah, this is the way it works, and 
we'll be adding more scoreboard styles obviously this is a very standard style but yeah we'll be adding more styles and more features as they're requested thanks for watching